Hi everyone, Tinkerman RC here. And what I'd like to share with everyone is the air retract system that I've installed on this uh, A4 Skyhawk. Okay, some of the things I want to go over with everyone is first off, here is the air pump that I'm using. Okay, this is a Robart air pump. It's about $38. You can get it at your local hobby store. Okay, now one of the, one of the interesting things is how to fill the air system and have it be reliable. What we've got here is a one-way check valve, or check valve, and we've got our air fill valve. And what you're going to do, all you're going to do is attach your lines to each one, and then you just screw this on the inside, like that. Okay? And what it does is, as you can see, I've got air on the system, 40 psi. Okay? We're going to put a little bit of air, go about 50. Okay, there we go. We got 50 psi on there. All right. Now, a good point to, a good reference point is I had I left this sit for a while just to see if the system would leak down. Right now it's open, there's airflow to this gauge. Okay, the system, the air system on the airplane doesn't leak down. Okay, you can get this is the part number right here of the fill valve and the fill chuck that I have. They just screw in together like this. If you're going to run it, if you're going to run air retracts, this is the best way to do it. You're not lugging around a big tank. You're not lugging around a big air compressor or anything like that. Okay, we're going to retract the gear. We're going to retract the uh, extend and retract the gear here for you. And it, all right, here we go. We're down and up. Okay, and you, as you can see, we still got pressure. We still have enough pressure. That was one retract. We're not even at 40 psi. The tank's the tank is located up forward. And one thing I also wanted to point out is I had to run. I, I bought some extra uh, lines, air lines, and I installed them in here. So now I have a nice, long, comfortable, you know, area for the line to rest. It can set in here and not really interfere with anything. And if you look down here on the landing gear, you can see how I got the profile. The gear sucks up real nice. The nose gear goes up in there, that's as far as you bought where you want it to go, and you've got your mains that set in real nice right there. All right, here we go, we're going to extend. Okay, we got our nose gear steering, and then we're going to retract. Okay, there's our retract. All right, that's basically a quick overview on the air system I wanted to go over with you. Um, you can get this air system you know, from Robart, you can get it from Banana has a, a separate system. Um, this is the instruction manual that I went by right here. Okay, it talks about how to uh, do the uh, air system, how to do your fill valve and everything like that, and the schematics of how to run your lines and your actuators. All right, that was just a quick overview of the air retract system that I have installed on the A4. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. All right, and stay tuned for more videos, and as soon as the weather breaks, we'll get up in the air. Thank you very much.